Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to cover a simple method of setting up a remote desktop connection to an installation of Linux from either Microsoft Windows 10 or 11. Now, historically, this used to be quite a bit of a pain. However, if you're using a modern Linux distribution that uses GNOME as its desktop environment, then the option for remote desktop connections is now built in. For example, if you're using Ubuntu, Fedora, Manjaro, Arch Linux, or even Endeavor OS, then the method covered in this particular video is going to apply to you. That being said, for this video, at least for demonstrational purposes, I'm going to be using my installation of Ubuntu 2204, which is running in a virtual machine, and I'm going to remote into it using my local installation of Windows 11. Okay, so let us boot into the installation of Ubuntu. So unsurprisingly, the first thing we need to do is enable support for remote connections within Ubuntu. And the easiest way to do that is if you navigate to the settings application. Now we can, get, we can access this by going to the top here and clicking on where it says settings. And once the settings application is open, you want to click on the section here where it says sharing and then toggle on the option at the top here. Once you've done that, click on where it says remote desktop. From here, make sure that you've enabled both remote desktop as well as remote control. And also down here in the authentication section, make sure that you've specified a username and a password. Now this will be important later on as we'll be using these same credentials to connect from Windows. I'd also take a note of this device name here, as this will be the destination to where the remote desktop connection will be pointed to. Once you're happy with all these settings, simply close the window and you're all done for the Ubuntu side. So now that the installation of Ubuntu is set up to receive remote desktop connections, let's establish a connection. Now, if you're using either Windows 10 or 11, then you can just simply use the built-in remote desktop connection client that's pre-installed in Windows. To do that, open up the start menu and simply type in RDP or remote desktop protocol. Click on the option that appears and in the computer section, make sure that you put Ubuntu-VM or whatever the host name is you specified earlier. Then let's click connect on that. Let's choose the option here where it says more choices and then choose the option here where it says use a different account. So the username we did before was admin, so let's type that in. And the password was 1988. Once you're happy with that, click OK. And as you can see, it's immediately remote us into the installation. Now, it's also likely that the first time you connect using the RDP client, you will see a security certification. So just make sure to click accept to continue. In either case, you've now successfully remotely connected from an installation of either Windows 10 or 11 to Ubuntu Linux. And with that, you're all done. So in conclusion, with the integration of RDP support in the GNOME desktop environment, the process of remoting in for operating systems such as Microsoft Windows is now a breeze. And it's yet another milestone in making Linux easier for day-to-day -day end users. Thanks for watching guys, and if you did find this video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, and also share this video. And of course, if you want to support me and see more content like this in the future, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next video. See you later now. Bye!